In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the AI receiver with an ESP32 microcontroller so that you can control some devices using any kind of remote that you have. I'm going to use this AI remote that I'm using to control the RGB strip lights, but you could use other remotes, including the uh, remote of the TV or any kind of remote that you can buy. Basically, we have to read the code of each of these keys using the AI receiver to check whether it's the on key we turn the LED on, like the built-in LED that is connected to the pin number 2 or any other device, and we're going to use this one to turn it off. So to make this project, you're going to need an ESP32 microcontroller, or you could use the ESP8266. We can use the same library to work with the AR receiver. This receiver has three pins. This one is labeled minus, which goes to the G and D of the board. The middle leg is the VCC, goes to the 3.3 volts or the 5 volt if you want. And finally we have the signal pin that we need to hook up to one of the GPIO pins. For example, I will use the GPIO pin number 15. So this receiver allows us to read the code of the AR light that comes out of the remote control. Then we can use it to check whether if it's the on key we turn the LED on, otherwise we turn it off. Before that, I will need to hook it up to the board. So let's put it like this. And I'm going to start by connecting the GND to the GND of the board, like this pin. Next, we have the VCC, which is the middle leg. I'm going to use the 3.3 volts. It's fairly enough to power this module. And finally, I'm going to connect the signal pin to the GPIO pin number 15. If you're asking how I've got the pins, you could look at the pinout diagram. We have this pin that is labeled GPIO15, and it is the pin number uh, 4 from the side. I'm going to connect it to the signal pin. Next, we can move on to the Arduino IDE to download the library from the library manager. You have to search for AR remote, ESP8266, and here's the library. So they have updated this library to work with the ESP32 microcontroller. Once you install it using the install button, we can move on to the code. First, we have to include this library. Its name is AR Remote, ESP8266, then .h. Also, we have another one that comes with the library. We have to include it. And it is the AR receiver. Make sure to write it like this, .h. Basically, this library allows you to create an AR receiver object that represents the AR receiver, and the type is AR receive. We can give it any name you want, like AR receiver. And in these parentheses, we have to pass in the pin that we have used. I have connected the signal pin to the pin number 15. Make sure to pass in your own. Then to store the AR code of the remote button, we have to add this second object. The type is called decode underscore results. And let's call it results. After that, we need to enable this object so that we can use the AR receiver under the setup function using the name of the object AR receive, then dot, and we have this method enable ARN. Then I will use the serial monitor so that we can print the code using serial.begin with the baud rate 115-200. Next, we can move on to the loop function that is called over and over again to check whether we have received a code by pressing one of these buttons. We have to add if, then AR receiver. And we have this method decode, which returns true whenever we receive a code. Then we can set it inside the results object by passing in and which means the address of the object results. If it's the case, we can use serial.println to go to the next line. And to get the value, we use results, then dot, and we have this value key. I want to write it in hexadecimal. One of the problems that you could face is the loop function speed. It is called over and over again. We need to slow it down so that we can read the codes. Let's write delay, and one second is fine, which means 1000 milliseconds. And the last thing that you have to do 
is to re-enable this object so that we can read the next code using AR receiver, then dot, and the method is called resume. And that's pretty much it. So you see it's really simple to use the AR receiver with this library. Now let's upload it after selecting the kind of board that you are using, which is a Node MCU32S board. Then let's hit upload. After that, we can open up the serial monitor using this button. Make sure that you are using the same baud rate, 115 to 100. And let's try to press one of the buttons, like the on button. And there you go, we have the hexadecimal code of the on key. The same thing if we press other buttons, like the off key. Now we can check if the result value equals this hexadecimal value, we turn the LED on. And if it's this one, we turn it off. For that, I'm going to add the pin number using const int and call it LED pin equals to. Then let's add the pin mode under the setup function that takes in the LED pin and the output keyword so that we can control it. We're going to add an if statement using if results dot value equals this one. So let's copy it using Ctrl C, but that will give you an error because the Arduino IDE can't recognize this value. For that, we have to add 0x to tell the Arduino IDE that this number is a hexadecimal number and use Ctrl V. In such case, we will turn the LED on using the digital write command. The first parameter is the LED pin and the high keyword to send a voltage then we can add else if results dot value equals the second code of the off key. In this case, I'm going to turn it off by changing the high keyword to low. I have made a little mistake. We have results. That's the name of the object that contains the code. And let's give it another try by hitting upload. And once it's done, we can turn on the LED and there you go, it turns on and let's turn it off. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write that under the comment section down below. In the next video, we are going to control other devices like the RGB LED so that we can change its color using different keys. That's why don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell and they will see you in the next one.